Angelo C. Rodriguez. Last week. Four minutes read. On April 19, 1997. April 20, 1997 I rode the Amtrak to the BART in Dublin, California then rode it to the Oakland Coliseum stop because there was a rave at home base in Oakland. I bought a hit of MDMA and after 30 minutes it hadn't kicked in so I thought it was fake and ate some LSD 10 minutes later the MDMA kicked in and I candy flipped my wig and thought it was the end of the world and I was Jesus and the rave was in my honor. I thought I was controlling the lasers like the Sith Emperor Darth Lord Sidious. I threw all my belongings inside a dance circle including a sheet of LSD. They returned my watch and wallet but the cash and LSD was accepted as my offerings. I was pushing people out of the dance circle if they weren't dancers from Stockton, California because the B-Boys from 209 were going off like it was Beat Street and Break Dancing Electric Boogaloo. I got the rave shut down at like 8.39 am after almost starting a fight for pushing dancers out the circle. I got to the party at 10 or 11 pm the night before. De La Soul. Alcoholics. Hieroglyphs were performing and Del the Funky Homo Sapien was more or less faded at the party because everybody was partying like it was 1999. I thought my friends Javier and Anden were trying to kidnap me so I took off towards the Oakland Athletics Coliseum. My mother and her husband Gus had to come get me out of Debus Chicken Coop in Oakland. I was handcuffed to a hospital gurney and the psych nurse and psych intern doctor had to evaluate me because I was legally 5150. I told them what happened and that I was coming down and would never underestimate the power of psychedelics and Grandmaster Flash and Africa Bambata and Soul Sonic Forces hip-hop sets ever again. I just wanted my mom to bring me a pillow so I could sleep on the way home. He said okay you won Planet Rock I guess and to take it easy on the drugs. He cleared me lifted the 5150 as temporarily insane and released me because I had turned 18 in February. I used to be a hip-hop hippie on the rave scene every weekend in the Bay Area from 15-22 years of age and sold my Sudafed for $20 a pill no questions asked and leave with hundreds of dollars and my minimum quota was $100 a party. I went from a hippie to a yuppie because it's never too late to become who you want to be. Happiness isn't something we find it's something we decide to be. Happiness is expensive. Money can't buy happiness but it sure helps. If you're going to do drugs make sure you do them and don't let them do you. Handle your business don't let it handle you. I used drugs to make 100 cyber transactions online instead of 20 a day sober. I'm an optimist not a pessimist. An optimist makes opportunities out of their difficulties. Pessimist make difficulties out of their opportunities. I won't do so. I quit partying when I was 30 and was sober for 4 years then relapsed after my car got Swiss cheesed up with 1740. Caliber bullets and three of my friends commit suicide and my father died. I was in jail fighting two felony cases when I got the news he was in a coma so I bailed myself out of jail with my sister and mother's help from Aladdin's bail bonds. I got one charge dismissed because the gang unit violated my civil rights and the judge dismissed all charges if I complete rehab. It took me a year to finish a six-month program but after my lawyer won his first case after just passing the bar exam and was ready for trial. He said to change my number and work on my music because my Tony Montana dreams were over. I did so and now I have the best digital portfolio in the world. Then after getting hit on my 24-inch red line and couldn't walk for six months I taught myself how to broker day trades and foreign exchange cryptocurrency on the Forex for the first time in financial banking history. My coin assets have created new markets worldwide and I feel accomplished and now suffer from intellectual vanity. After grieving because of being severely depressed and using drugs and alcohol to self-medicate my doctor has me on bupropion for depression, naltrexone for addiction, hydroxazine for anxiety, and Cialis for erectile dysfunction. Four years previous they had me on Ativan and Lorazepam to cure my alcohol and cocaine addiction for good. I'm now on the road to recovery and my grace is good enough for all of us. I asked my doctor for help because I told him I was feeling ruthless and all remorse had left my body. He told me I was going to be a success because I asked him for help and millions of Americans won't admit to their doctors that they have a problem because denial isn't a river in Egypt. I showed him my business portfolio and he said I had over $1 million in crypto and I'm feeling better because I know I'm going to be financially secure and said congratulations Angelo you're a millionaire now.